Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so stay tuned to see what we do in our house for Valentine's Day. Welcome back to the farm. My name's Nina. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited that you have stopped by to join me today. Here on my channel, we talk all about homeschooling, homesteading, and homemaking. Today, I am showing you kind of what Valentine's Day looks like in our family, what we are getting our kids for Valentine's Day. And um, this video is also in collaboration with my friend Kristen from My Cathedral Garden. She's hosting this collab along with a bunch of other moms um, that are joining us. So there will be a playlist down in the description box below so that you can check out um, other seeing what they were doing for Valentine's Day um, and what that looks like in their family so that you can get some good ideas for your family. So to start off with, um, this is going to look a lot like last year's video because um, we're doing pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm going to put that up here in the iCards if you just want to check it out, see what we got our kids last year for Valentine's Day. Um, I would just, Valentine's Day isn't really a big to do here in our family. Um, we do get the kids a gift. Usually it's a group gift. So something that the kids get together. Um, and then we'll have a, like a breakfast Valentine's Day party, which just means they get a special treat for breakfast. They have, um, cute plates, which I have here. I'll show you. Um, I got these at Walmart and then I picked up something fun for them. So these cute little plates that say happy Valentine's Day on them, the matching, oops, the matching napkins and the matching cups. I think these were all like 98 cents a piece. So relatively cheap, cheaper than the dollar store or dollar tree. So I just went with the generic ones. So these will be on the table. We'll do, um, Kristen does, she gave me the idea last year of doing pink milk. So we'll probably do that for our milk drinkers. Um, we do have one kid that is uh, dairy intolerant. So we have to be careful with her. And then also on the table, I've put out some conversation hearts. I like these. I know not everybody likes these, but these are always my favorite. And my favorite is the white ones. They taste most like peppermint and the yellow ones. Maybe. And maybe the green ones. <laughs> but anyway, I like conversation hearts. So um, there's an extra box. So I have four kids. They'll each get a box. And there's an extra box for me. Bonus. Um, and then also, last year I got them the big Reese hearts, um, and they didn't really eat that. I don't think they liked it as much, so this year I've just picked up these Reese hearts, the pink hearts. These are so good, you guys. And you want to know how I know they're good? Because <laughs> I already ate some. I already ate some. Um, but you know, there's this whole bag in here and I figure I'll just put like two or three at each spot and that means I get the rest of them, right? But no, we, um, got some of these for Liliana to go in her, uh, pinata for her birthday. And since her birthday's right at the end of January, these were already out and we got them and I was like, oh my gosh, the pink ones are so good. I think it's just white chocolate, probably dyed pink, but it tasted so good. So much better than a regular Reese's, but anyway, so Walmart, fine. So these will be sitting out on the table for them as well. Um, as part of their group gift, they are really into card games right now. So I got them a couple of card games that they can play together as their group gift. This came from Walmart. Um, I was looking for something a little more boyish because I'll show you what their other gift is in just a minute. But um, I got red light, green light, one, two, three. The classic schoolyard game is now a FF. Fast action, quick to learn card game for the whole family. Gameplay is simple, just follow the pattern. Red light, green light, one, two, three. Play as many cards on your turn as you can in that order. Can't play a card, draw one from the deck. Play, the play passes to the next driver. All your cards go, play all your cards first to dodge traffic and win the game. So. We'll see about that one. That sounds like a fun one. Um, this is called Shark Bite. This is a war card game. They're really into playing war right now with just a regular deck of cards. So I thought that would be fun. Um, it's basically whoever has the biggest fish wins the war. Um, and then uh, 
I Spy Go Fish card game. This is for like with the younger kids in mind. No reading needed. So those are three card games I picked up for the kids that will be out on the table for them. I do not wrap their Valentine's Day gifts. They just sit out. Um, and their main gift, and I only got one of these because I didn't think that we needed four of the same thing. Um, if I can get it out of the box. Hold on. Hold please. I should unbox this first. Um, it is from Young, Wild, and Freeman. This is their Play-Doh kit for Valentine's Day. If you've been around my channel a while, you've seen that we've given our kids plenty of Young, Fra Young Wild, and Freeman kits. Um, a couple of years for Christmas, years ago for Christmas, they each got a big uh, set like this. Um, and then this year for Christmas, they got the mini set. We've given them the surprise drawers and Easter baskets, which will probably happen again this year. So, um, since we do not have the Valentine's Day kit, I wanted to get that for them this year. They love playing with these Play-Doh kits. Absolutely one of their favorite things to do. If I can get, I'm sorry, I'm struggling with this box <laughs> today. So, a note from the creator. And this is what comes in it if I don't throw it all out at you. So you get three dough drawers. I'm trying to be a little quiet because the kids are not quite asleep yet. You get all these fun things to play with. Different candies. Some cutters. There's all these little doodads in here. Oh, there's even a cupid to create all kind of different things. It smells good. By the way, all their dough is scented. So you have like little cupcake liners. Oh, there's even there's even like a little rolling pin that's part down in here. A bunch of roses and then lots of little gems. You can see those these roses. And then this is like I think this is like a stamper. A little wooden heart stamp with me. Pretty cool. So, I know the girls will especially be excited about this. Ben loves playing with Play-Doh kits too, but I know this is like really, really girly looking, but, um, um, so they will have this on the table along with these card games. So, kind of more boyish, a little more girly, but that's kind of how we do it. Do things is it's grouped for Valentine's Day. We just try to keep it a little on the lighter side here. Um, one thing we are going to do this year is um, starting on February the 1st, which was a couple of days ago when you're watching this video, is I'm going to put out on the school table um, some red, pink, purple construction paper. And they are going, I'm going to have them throughout the next two weeks or so, just write each other um, Valentine's. So whether it's to mom and dad brother and sister, whoever, they're going to, that's going to be out on the table that so they can write Valentine's to their family and friends. Also something else that's new this year that I picked up that I thought would be super fun for breakfast. That I should have talked about when I talked about our place setting, but anyway, I found at Walmart this little waffle maker that makes waffles in the shape of hearts. Um, I think this was like around eight or $9. The kids love waffles. They love it when I make uh, waffles here at the house for like a breakfast supper. Um, so I figured that would be fun to make um, for them on Valentine's morning. And since Valentine's is not on a Sunday this year, uh, we won't be rushed to get out the door. So we'll be able to do that for them. So anyway, so that's just a few fun things that we do for our family. Uh, for Valentine's Day, uh, like I said, it's just usually low-key and kind of simple around here. If you're looking for more ideas, look for that playlist down in the description for the uh, collaboration that is being hosted by Kristen at um, My Cathedral Garden. Don't forget to check her channel out. You guys will love her, I know for sure. So uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to stick around and see more from Danina Farms. And we will catch you in another video very soon. Bye, guys.